Ladies and gentlemen, could you just listen for 30 seconds, please? All of you, I'd like you to stop eating. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what are you, who are you? Is that Chef Sorry, sir. Damn roaches coming out. Get on what? I take the Rika, it ain't one roach, it's two or three roaches. Oh, okay. Oh, you in fast. I'm not coming over here. It's not like that. These are some fucking ridiculous ass people. I told you when you came here, make sure you got your shit set up other than what I'm doing. You didn't do that. Y'all wouldn't know how to cook in the daytime if y'all life depended on it. So y'all come in here and everything is made for y'all for the most part. We all want you to shut the camera. Wow. Sharika. First off, half of that stuff in there is not, especially the roaches. We've never had a roach issue. I wish the roaches were the only problem. Chuck, we've been open for a year, right? And we haven't made a dime yet. And we're losing money. That doesn't sound like a daughter that's concerned about losing money. Dude. <laughs> watch your mouth. We can't even start to fix that restaurant until we're a little bit more honest with ourselves. It was some of the worst Creole we've ever eaten. That's a matter of your opinion. My opinion? Yeah. It's a matter of the palate. It's a matter of my palate now. Yes. You have the nerve to say that to me when you haven't even trained to be where you are. I've definitely trained to be where I am. No, no, you went to culinary school. OK. That's the basic. You graduate culinary school, then you go into the big, bad world, and then you learn how to cook. Why are we in this mess? Mismanagement. And not having the experience. Who is the manager of front of the house? Right. Give me an insight. Over the last five years, the restaurants you worked in before you opened I've your never own. worked in a restaurant. Stop I've it. never managed a restaurant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You've n never. But you're the manager, and you've never worked I've in I've been a, a manager. I've never managed a restaurant. Yeah, OK, it's a big deal. But where have you managed? I'm going to be respectful to you. You're going to be respectful to me. A quarter million dollars in debt, and you want me to kiss your ass. Shame no, on I you, young lady. No, I just want to be respected. Shame on you. I know you're known for being an asshole. If you want to see my asshole, darling, you can watch me walk out the door, because I'm not going to sit and take this from you. That deluded. But we should be disrespected, though. And hold on a minute. I'm just getting tired dealing with stuck-up, precious little princesses. What? But, but go back to the what beginning when Daddy bought you a restaurant. Stop saying your mama and daddy gave you a restaurant. This is all of our restaurant equally. Who put up the money? They did. What does it mean to you, then? You're what do you part think it means to me? I come here and do my best every You're single day. You're taking them down. I am? Yes. And little sis. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not out of my mind. I'm telling you the truth. Out of your mind? I'm telling you the truth. Are you kidding me? Your parents on the verge of separating. Why would you see me ruining our parents' marriage? Are you crazy? Calm down. Calm down. I don't you... think you're helping the Calm situation. Down. You ain't either right now. Shana. You don't no. know us. You don't know Shana. who I'm here. You're in denial. Fuck you. Oh, Shana. Shana. Fuck you. Shana. Fuck you. Shana. No, thank you. I'm too busy. Since my visit, I'm pleased to share that this restaurant is stronger than ever. Welcome to Gadsons. Just two. Sharika has continued to be a leader instead of a tyrant. Shana, huh? Let me see where you at. And is earning the respect of her team. Steak, Steak pork. Steak pork. pork. Both she and Shana have begun to take the advice of their father, Chuck. Make it happen, Ree. And the day-to-day -day running of the restaurant has improved dramatically. With less stress on their finances, the relationship of Chuck and Eartha is back on track. Let's do it. Meaning this jazz family is truly back in harmony.